This is chapter U-Boats. All right, first question. This is actually not in the reading. It always threw people off. And of course, I already have the answer there. So that is terrible because how... I do need to make this smaller. There we go. Let me do this one more time because I want us to actually have to find the answers. <laughs> well, I have to find the answers multiple times. All right. This is normally the one that gets people hung up like every year um, because the answer is not in the reading. You have to do like a little bit of math. From February 1st, 1917, until the end of the war, a period of about 21 months, German U-boats sank almost 3,000 Allied and neutral ships. This was an average of blank ships a month. Round your answer. So, because I don't want to do actual division, I'm going to use a calculator. Uh, 3,021 months divided by 21. All right, we got 142.8, so 143. All right. U boat was short for, and I'm going to say it the German way, Untelseboot. I'm sure the American version is like under sea boot. <laughs> oh, which is blank boat in English. On February 1st, 1917, Germany announced a policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. An order went out to all German submarines to sink any vessel on sight. The order included neutral and passenger ships as well as ships of war. So they did this because the Americans and the British were smuggling, essentially. I, I don't know if you consider it smuggling. It's kind of more. Well, no, it kind of is because they definitely did it in secret. They wouldn't put their supplies and weapons on like warships or like military merchant vessels. They would put them on. They would put them on, like, passenger ships or just regular merchant ships. And so they were hiding this stuff, essentially, so that the Germans wouldn't find it. And because there was a law that said you have to, if you're going to attack, you have to surface up and say the passengers need to get off and whatever. So essentially... They're trying to sneak this stuff across without the Germans stopping them. And I mean, the Germans knew about it because they're, they're not stupid. Like, it's, I mean, it's a very basic thing to do is smuggle stuff during war. I mean, that's not, like, uncommon. Um, and pretty much they, the Germans ended up saying this, and the Americans and the British, nobody believed them. They're like, nah. You're not actually going to do that. You're not actually going to, sh like, torpedo innocent people. <clears throat> they were wrong. Although Ger the German Navy was strong, it could not compete in numbers with the powerful British Navy. To offset this imbalance, the Germans had built a large number of U-boats or submarines. U-boat was short for Untelseeboot, or undersea boat. So, undersea. Under the sea. Under the sea. The Germans hoped the U-boats would enable them to sink enough Allied ships to turn the war in their favor. Fail. All right, so this is under sea. This is the British. Stop it. And I'm going to finish reading while you guys submit. All right. 
Unrestricted submarine warfare ended Germany's compliance with the cruiser rules. According to cruiser rules, before a submarine could sink a ship, it had to surface and allow the passengers to leave the ship. The Germans followed this rule for almost two years after the Lusitania was torpedoed. So the Lusitania was a passenger ship. It was smuggling uh, weapons and stuff. Uh, And I guess they must have not followed it it for this. I'm not quite sure what was going on here because they kept on following it afterwards. Um, But then finally they were like, no, just kidding. We're like totally going to hit anybody. So get out the way, basically. However, they discontinued the policy when the British began to disguise warships as merchant vessels and blasted a number of U-boats out of the water. Germans resorted to the same deception and sank Allied merchant ships in record numbers. So the deal here is, like, obviously, if you come up to the service, you're like, hey, we're a submarine and we're going to attack you. Like, you're going to be like, uh, no, and just immediately blast that submarine. It kind of defeats the stealthiness of the submarine. And here's the canister they would drop into the water to uh, blow up the submarine. The Germans had hoped their U-boats would end the war before the United States had a chance to enter on the side of the Allies so that they could get enough soldiers together, enough supplies, etc. However, this did not happen. Allied ships traveling in convoys, groups of merchant ships escorted by warships, succeeded in getting necessary supplies to the battlefield. Some of these ships were equipped with depth charges, drums of explosives that blew up at a certain depth. The depth charges destroyed many U-boats and helped bring the submarine threat to an end. 